Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to Frost Survival. So, uh, I'm going to try and get out of Boston again. Because, uh, yeah, that's probably my best chance of survival. Let's make sure I've got stuff. Make some water. Bam. Okay. And... Alright, let's be on our way. Now, we'll take the highway up to... It breaks off, and then we need to swap over to the other... the other one. Mining helmet, right? Okay, I was really worried that I'd accidentally left it behind or something. I can get to the other end of this segment of highway without any trouble. It's the, uh, the bit after that that's causing me issues. Most looks like I have to try and get through that building full of ghouls. I did turn my settings down though, and that seems to have helped the frame rate issue somewhat. Oh, oh, there's that phantom footstep again. Yeah, it's, is that me stepping on something metal? Maybe. Hmm. No, it doesn't seem to be. At least if I step on the other metal thing, that would have been the same as the metal thing that I could have stepped on there. Doesn't happen. person over here. Oh, wait, I killed this guy, I think. I am pretty sure. Yeah. I think I killed that dude when I was coming out of that building there. I may have to start using bats just to compensate, because it's really, really hard to aim uh, when my frame rate like tanks, as it does sometimes when I'm fighting, you know, ghouls, especially for some reason. It just becomes very, very difficult to aim. Using bats might help me out in those situations. Or hinder me, actually, because, you know... Bats relies on your character's ability to aim, which is usually awful. Well, it's also quite fun doing, like, bats-only runs.
Alright. Now, from here up onto the next section of highway, again, not super risky. But, it can be, ooh, unless I find the one hole in that bridge because I'm not paying attention to where I'm walking. Good. We're off to a good start. Falling to my death as per usual. Back up on the highway. Oh wait, I should go and get that pistol, shouldn't I? I'm carrying a shotgun, I don't have any shells for. Drink some water. Now I'm gonna go and get that. Get that pistol. Should be. And there. That car, for some reason, always like shifts the first time I touch it. Kind of weird. That, take the body pins, those. Ah. I was thinking better charisma might actually be, you know, somewhat useful, but I don't think it's that useful right now. Uh, do I not have more 10 million rounds in it? Fusion core, that's not much use to me. But, at least I know it's here. If I ever, you know, am in desperate need of fusion cores, I can come back here. Make sure I'm not forgetting any of my ammo, because I have... I could have sworn I had more 10mm rounds than this. Yeah, I do. I have a bunch of 10mm rounds. And shotgun shells, actually. Okay, well, if I'm not bringing the shotgun, uh, I could probably carry more junk. If there's anything in here that I really need, which I don't think there is, duct tape I'll take. Oil can is pretty good. Ah, antiseptic. That I need. Damn. Just a wrench I probably don't need. Be on our way. Huh. I can just take it with me. That's... <laughs> It's just got a shotgun floating in front of my face. Why didn't I think of this before? Hmm. 
Hmm. There it is again. <laughs> I just forgot how silly the freaking Bethesda games uh, carrying looks when you're just telekinetically holding things in front of your face like this. It's even casting a shadow. It's so good. I'm pretty sure if you get enough speed on an object holding, you can actually damage things with it. Because I know in Fallout 3 you used to be able to, like, drop barrels on people and kill them if you got them from high enough. I don't know if that's doable with something small like a like this shotgun. silly now. Even though it still looks silly. I just kind of pump it closer. Yeah, there we go. Basically inside me now. snow and they like that they replace all the ripple piles with snow drifts looks really cool love how they got a snow drift in here is one question To that bridge again. This time we'll try not to fall off it. side there. shotgun doesn't affect my uh, stealth. Let's just wait. I'm gonna wait for them to go by. I'm pretty sure if I'm, excuse me, if I move around while they're uh, looking in my direction, they'll probably spot me. So, just gonna sit nice and tight right here. Drop this shotgun as well. Just in case I need to start shooting things. Okay. Let's go. Let's 
turn back around in a second, but hopefully I can get out of there. Oops. I can get out of their uh, sight if I can just get my okay, shotgun back. Oh, I turned around. I think we're okay. Save here again, just to be safe. Even though there's no real, you know, risk between here and the last place we saved, um, it does mean I don't have to go fiddling around with my inventory again. I have an infection. It's fucking. Oh god, it's gonna give me damage as well. Oh, that's great. somewhere. Actually, if I'm correct, that right there might be the building that the Constitution crashes into. Which means maybe we can find some medical supplies in the ground floor of it. Let's go and check. Yeah, there's a glowing one over there. If I start a fight right now, I'm gonna just basically just be dead. Stuff's exploding on its own, so that's good. Always encouraging. <coughs> oh, yeah, there's that periodic damage. Which am I taking? Ow! Jesus. Do I have a. No. Okay, use a bandage. A ghoul or a skeleton? That looks like a ghoul. And he is T-posing for some reason. Alright, move the shotgun out here. Get my pistol out, actually. Just in case. My, my flashlight. Here. Footsteps.
plenty of alcohol in here. Serves. Oh, hello. God damn it. Lobster trap helmet. Great. Oh, damn it. That's not what I need. Sneak better. So I am uh, somewhat concerned about that ghoul spotting me. Great. It's targeting guard. Fantastic. I'll just bring it along. Anyways. Coffee cups. Dead person. Safe that I probably can't open. No way I can pick this. Oh, hang on. Terminal? Security's too good. Alright. Well, let's go check upstairs. Maybe we'll get lucky. And the whiskey wore off. Oh. Not a big deal. Weird. Lay off just in case. Uh, ow. Fuck. Back off. This is mine. Uh okay. I'm just gonna go behind this corner and then uh, shoot you in the face. Fuck you. God damn it. Richie Fowley in this journal. say. Lynn passed away in the early morning. I don't know what we'll do now. That girl got us through so much. Palmer, Natick, Independence, all of it. Someone's got to step up and take us onwards. Talk to Parker. Kids got guts, but it's enough. Group voted me leader unanimously. Yada, yada, yada. He had a fun experience. Oh, that door's not gonna open. Nope, none of these doors are gonna open. And no antibiotic to be seen. Great, I'm probably gonna die of this infection before I get anywhere. Put my gas mask back on. I'm pretty sure this elevator goes outside. I guess. I doubt we're gonna find any antibiotics before we die, but what the hey? I'm just gonna have to start checking buildings, I guess. Oops. 
sneak mode because the school's outside. Come on, elevator. 